Right, today we've got the Tumby Moaners Club at the Motorcycle Workshop. They're having a bike run of motorcycles up to 1930. Let's go have a look at some of the bikes. Morning, Colin. Morning. What we got? Uh, 1920s Raleigh. Uh, as you see, it is as it is. Uh, there's no, there's no glamour. There's no chrome. There's no polishy. Uh, I've recently just done a rally with it. Um, where I've gone through sand and up and down hills and dales and stuff and it just keeps going and it's called the old faithful i've had it about seven years um and it's just a, just a bike that i love do you know any history of it uh previous to this the grandparents of the people i got it off they used to race it that was his number that's his last number that he used um and this is the racing belt they used on the back um and there you are there's not much i can say more about it do you know where it raced uh, around bolton area bolton and up in leeds way Very nice. And when I got it, it was uh, out of the barn. It had been broken down in 1976 by the grandkids on the farm. Uh, it took me about four hours to go around to find all the bits, and here we are. Lovely. Thank you very much, Carl. No morning, Roy. Good morning. What we got? Uh, 1937 40N Benelli. Have you had it long? Uh, about two years now. Do you know any history? Yes, I bought it originally from a fellow, well, from the, the estate of a fellow called Les Hampton. He was a very popular member of the Guzzy Club, and also um, he had a collection of motor goods. He was, mate, he was, he was mainly a Guzzy man. Uh, he passed away in 2018, and uh, I, we found this in his garage in a lot of bits. So you've totally rebuilt it? I, yeah, I can't claim to say I've restored it myself because he, he was halfway through it uh, and never ever completed it. Right. But it was in bits and luckily we managed to find all the bits. It is beautiful. It's unusual. Yeah, it's definitely unusual. There's a few in Holland, so there's a few in Italy. But I don't know of any any others. In the UK any? I, there's a, there is one I've been told about but it's in bits. So it's about to be restored again. Are you going to buy it? No. <laughs> no, no. So, but um, I, I don't know. I think it's up near Lincoln that way. It certainly is a thing of beauty. Yes. It was the, the engine w uh, needed completely rebuilding. Um, there are five sets of timing wheels, hunting gear. So w when you come to time it, your crankshaft is going clockwise. Your points are going anti-clockwise, and then once you've got your advanced and retard sorted out, then you go up and gradually rebuild the wheels. To um, going clockwise again. Yeah, <laughs> to get them so that uh, so that it turns. You, you can see the. But the um, although the valves are exposed, the um, the cam itself is fully enclosed. That's the oil feed. It yeah. goes up to the two valve guys. That's a lovely bike, fella. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning, Richards. What we got? So it's uh, an AJS R10 it's overhead cam. 500 uh, AJS built in uh, 1930. Uh, I've had it quite a lot of years, uh, probably about 15 years, I think now. Rebuilt it quite a few years ago. Right. And uh, crank, barrel, piston, all, uh, rebore piston, all those kind of things. Um, I've got quite a few Cami AJs. This is the first one that I ever yeah. owned. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Rebuilder hmm? K7, a K10. Yeah. A bike called the AJ Set, which is a combination of a, a uh, AJS bottom ends and a Balasek top ends, and a V twin based on uh, these, which has been around quite a bit in recent times. Uh, there's a YouTube video of it if you Google YouTube um, AJS V twin, you'll you'll find uh, you'll find it on there. The Classic Motorcycle Channel made quite a 
kind of play of it sometime back in February. And uh, yeah, this is one of the five camis that I've got at home here. Nice collection. Yeah, a lot of fun. And, yeah. and keeping it all going and sorting them out. A lot of hard work. <laughs> It is a lot of hard work, actually, yeah. Yeah, I spend about six hours a day, six days a week down in my workshop. <laughs> but this one, I've never I've never done it, apart from sorted out mechanically, I've never done anything to it cosmetically, as you can probably see. <laughs> nice. A, a very well presentable, the, the, the usable that it came with. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm off to the Isle of Man on Monday. Oh, good boy. This is one of the bikes I'll be taking. Oh, lovely. It's been there a few times before. Uh, which is why I've got the headlight on here. Uh huh. You probably noticed the headlight. I, I need this quite difficult. It runs, <laughs> off, runs, runs off a lithium ion battery. Oh, so well, lovely. To the girder forks, and I need it for getting back from the, to the, from the pub at uh, Peel back to my uh, digs up in Andrus, which is north well, of Ramsey. Hopefully, so, you'll have a lovely week. Yeah, let's hope the weather's good and it's yeah. going to have some safe racing. Mm. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Got 10 days there this time. Brilliant. Uh, taking this plus a Velocet Thruxton. Oh, nice. Home, so. Yeah, looking forward to a good week. You have a good week. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This one is a 1937 AJS V twin, 990 cc. It's not on the run, but because it's too new. But it's most definitely worth a picture. Yeah. I love the sidecar. 
Look at that. Looks like a boat. Reminds me of a reaver. What's a lovely bit of pit? I've managed to blag a ride in the sidecar. Hey!